Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Pastor JC coming at you live here from Treasure Island, Florida, where this is our last full day of vacation, and I, I've enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to getting back home and moving forward in ministry and all the great things that are happening at Crossroads, and uh, I'm just excited about the future for our church. Um, I want to just real quickly remind you of a couple of things today of who you are in Christ and how important your walk with Christ is. And, and, you know, the scripture talks about being poured out. The Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 2 and 2 Timothy chapter 4 talks about his life being poured out like a drink offering. And to understand the context of what he's speaking in the, in the Old Testament, in, in the, the worship of Jehovah, there would be a cup filled with wine and it would be poured on the burnt offering. It would be poured out on the altar where the burnt offering was taking place. And that pouring out was symbolic of complete surrender to uh, becoming a sacrifice of God. And when that liquid would hit the fire and it would hit the sacrifice that was on the altar, it would be a smoke that went up and it was it was symbolic of an aroma going up before God or nourishment from God's people ascending to heaven. And it was food for Jehovah uh, according to tradition. And, and so the, the drink offering being poured out was a very symbolic and very important part of the worship process. And as the Apostle Paul talks about his life being poured out as a drink offering, it reminds us of the importance of our life being poured out. Did you know that everything that God has placed within you, your calling, your giftedness, your talents, your abilities, your intellect, all of those things that God has placed inside of your vessel, your body, your temple, they're not really for you. They are to be poured out every day upon those with whom you come in contact. Because the things in your life that God has blessed you with, the callings, the anointings, the giftedness. It's for others. It's to speak life into others. It's to bring healing to others. It's to bring nourishment to others. And so as you pour those things out, they not only go up as a sweet smelling aroma to your heavenly father, but they quench the thirst of those around you. They become nourishment to those in your life and in your ministry and the things you do. And I'm reminded of a very important passage of scripture that speaks of Jesus having dinner with his disciples. And it was just before he was going to be arrested and eventually tried and crucified. And while he's sitting with his disciples, he not only breaks bread and hands it out to them, but he takes a cup full of wine. And he says, this cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant of my blood. He was saying, I am pouring out everything that's in me and it's going to be a new covenant that I'm forging with my people. And all of these things that will be poured into you are then to be poured out into other people. So the gospel of Jesus Christ that lives inside of each one of us who are believers, it's for our salvation, but it is also to be poured out for the world, to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Listen, when you share the gospel with someone else, you are pouring out of the vessel of your life that God has filled you with. When you pray a prayer of healing or providence or, or restoration for someone, you are pouring out of your life. When you walk in your calling and your anointing, you are pouring out of your life. So remember to pour upon your world. You are filled with the goodness and the power and the anointing of Jesus Christ. Pour it out on those around you. Pour it out on your fellow co-workers. Pour it out on the people in your church. Pour it out on the people in your neighborhood. That really, really aggravating neighbor that lives right next door to you, pour out the love of Jesus Christ to them and watch as God changes some things in your world. You're an offering. And as Paul came to the end of his life, he talked about being poured out. Every day, you're pouring out something 
into the lives of those around you, your children, your spouse, your family. You're pouring out something into their lives. What are you pouring? It's important to be pouring the right things. It's important, important to be pouring the gospel of Jesus Christ and the love of our Heavenly Father. So today, go and pour out all over your world. I challenge you. I triple dog dare you to go out and pour the goodness of God upon those with whom you will come in contact. I love you. I pray for you. And, and I know that God is going to bless you beyond measure. Take care today. God bless.